Hello, everybody. So Chris here. Back to play The Long Dark. It's been, a, it's been about a week since we last played. Playing a lot of uh, platformers and stuff. Thought nice, lazy Sunday. Be a good time to get back into this more or less nice and lazy game. Although I know there are people who don't feel that way. So it can be stressful. So I think, uh, I think we're good. We stopped after checking out this church. We're just up the road from where we've been staying in the town of Milton. It's also called Mountain. We've already given this place a once over, but. Uh, I thought I'd give it a second over. Um, yeah, so it's just after midday. I think the plan originally was to start exploring around here. And then uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll spend the night here or you know, somewhere else close by. Um, We've already picked up some stuff. Socks, gloves, a knife. Don't know where, maybe from um, the stronghold. Maybe from the church. Or maybe from the cars. Um, I'm hoping to get to the bridge. So there's a there's a bridge nearby, and uh, there's a lot of cars. It's kind of windy. Well, a lot of it. Um, and I don't mean like good thing. There was a wolf over there, I remember. Um, so actually, I just realized something. I do not have chat turned on. So I'm going to. Get chat coming here. Sorry about that. Um, I really should automate all of this stuff. They say, you know, you do something. Oh dear, it's got to update. Well, let's uh, I'll tell a story or something. Um, they say when you you know you do something once. Okay, do something twice. Okay. By the time you do something three times, maybe you should start thinking of automating it. Because uh, <clears throat> I've done this uh, at least a hundred times. Uh, I'm trying to sell this stuff up. Good news is nobody's watching. Even Nightbot, somehow Nightbot quit. Um, all right, looks good. <clears throat> okay, we've already looted this place, this little uh, farm. Oh, there's that wolf. So, yeah, I. It's early enough in the day. I'm not too worried. I'll head up the. Uh, the road at least. 
even if there's a blizzard, we can follow the road back to the church. <clears throat> um, that's always my big concern, is go off the path and get bad weather. And then you get lost. God forbid it's dark. It's just, uh... bad situation. Um, so, at this point, I don't really know the map. I think we... Experience. Is that a deer? I experienced a bit of that last time. Uh, I don't know how things are connected. Or really even what areas there are. This is part. Uh, I've definitely uh, died to exposure over here before off screen, of course. Certainly not in real life. Uh, good thing is, even with the wind, you're still. Snug as a bug in a rug. Okay. They'll just stay on the road. We've got, <clears throat> got fantastic buzz. Fantastic. We have it, buzz. Well, it sounded like a boob down. Which I'm hoping is a deer. Um, you know, the only other... Possibility is... Is that something? Oh, it's just a cairn. Bunny rabbits. Um, I think that there's a bridge this way, but I'm starting to wonder. Well, here's the road, so <clears throat> we're not too far off track. There's all sorts of goodies off the path, but uh, I'm not prepared to do that. Do do that? No! Look at where we are. So this is where we... How? This is where we came up the other night. Alright, let's keep following the road. So this is... That little pond we looked at, this is where we killed the wolf uh, over here. And then we climbed down that rope to get to... Did I say deer? And the wolf. Uh, we climbed down that rope to get... Um, so, either the bridge is this way, or we missed it. But, in any case, this is the cave we slept in. In any case, uh, this is clearly the long way to get here since we found, a, we found an easier way. I'm going to pop in here for a second. Um, let's try to get our weight down a bit. Let's, uh, let's eat some beans. And some 
sardines. Bit of water. Got this deer. <clears throat> um. So one thing we can do is we can look for the, the, the new map. I'm not really prepared to go into it yet, but we'll, we'll know where it is if we find it. But I'm pretty sure it's uh, around here. I don't. I mean, where could it be, right? It's. It's got to be. Here's the bridge. Man. So there's a much easier way to get here than than the way we just took. All right. So we can go. Okay. I don't know where this connects to, too. But there's a river. Let's um let's check out the cars first. The river of course has our beloved cattails. And I think more cars. Spruce Falls Beach. It's not uh it's not be like spruce. Who's that? There's a bear over there. Okay. That Now there's really no reason, except for meat. But we could kill the bear and hang out in the car. That might be... Well, it might be exciting. Hello? 25 hours, my goodness. Um, is the bear coming? Oh dear. The bear's coming on the bridge. Oh, I forgot to look at trunks too. All right, we have to make a decision. We've got five arrows. If I hit it, I have to hit it square, you know? It could run anywhere. shit, my heart's about to jump out of my chest. It's, the arrow stuck into it. Don't know why I'm doing this, but, uh, so, God, my, my heart is pounding. For some reason, she was a little bit sluggish. Um, I don't know if it's if it's this or, or what, but uh, she was a little bit sluggish to to get back to the door. Um, and now we can, we can't see the we can't see the bear. You can't you can't turn around in your seat. Um, this is we have about 80, 180 degrees vision. Um, if we, if we take a little nap, we run the risk of losing the bear. But if we hop out, we run the risk of it being like 
on its way back to, to, to the car. Um, that was a little bit silly. It would have been much smarter to observe the bears if there was. I'm going to want to drop stuff, but uh, if we find the bear's corpse, we'll want to make a fire. So, drop the wood. That's a shame, it's the same weight. <laughs> um, so now I'm just listening. Set it. Oh, it's 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 in pain. That's it. It's coming back to the bridge. Looks like it's got some sinus problems because steam, uh, you know, air is only coming out of that right side. No, don't. Oh God, what is it doing? Oh! Sh So for a second, I thought, what if it's trying to push the car over? I was like, that's, that's, not, that's not what it's doing. But then it's, its head came in the window, and I thought, what if the game is bogged and it can attack me like that? Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So ho, 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 holy balls. Let's... Um, Mostly just doing this for weight. Uh, it's it's turned around. I don't see it, but it's past that truck. So I feel like the perspective is foreshortened. Or whatever, I don't know what the word is. Zoomed in. It's coming back. Um, I could shoot it again, but. Oh, it was it was gonna attack, wasn't? It? So, do we even know that 
Well, there's I think there's mixed opinions on the, uh, the forums. Do we see our arrow? Yeah, the arrow's still there. I may, it kind of looks like I hit its um, shoulder. Dear God. Victory! So that's a lot of fucking heat. Um, the question is, do I make a fire? Do we get the hide? Do we get the guts? I want the meat. Oh my god, that's a lot of meat. It's gonna freeze, so we can quarter it, and then um, do it back at the house. I've never quartered before. I've never quartered before. Let's try it. I think that's exactly what this is for. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't even move. section of a bear carcass. Cut from the carcass to make transportation a little bit easier. Harvest for usable meat. So you can get 10 pounds per quarter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's all the meat. I thought you'd actually lose meat in the quartering process. So, um, we can harvest from inside this car. For some reason, uh, I thought that, oh, we'll just put all the, um, we'll put all the junk in the glove box. And deal and deal with it later. But, uh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> um, okay. So what I'm thinking is we'll actually just spend the night in this car. Let's hope it doesn't get uh, too cold. We'll quarter what we can. When it gets dawn, we'll um, we'll make another call. But essentially, yeah, these knives we can make sure work with it. So, oh, I just hope it's not a dark night. Um. Yeah, and we'll carry back. We'll carry back what we can. So, a little bit hungry, but you know. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll wait. I wish they had a little arrow here for all. And generally with these tools, I'm going to try to wear one of the tools out because when we leave Milton, if we ever 
escape with our lives, then uh, we can leave that nearly broken tool behind. It's a really small thing, but it's a, a lot of small things in this game. They do. Either add up or or they don't. The thing is, you don't know which it is before, before it's too late. Um, let me do one more, and then eat. Um, I'm not going to say this has worked out. because we're not home safe. We still have a ridiculous amount of raw meat on us, so any wolves are going to be attracted. Um, but tentatively, things are looking pretty good. So we have to quarter, I mean, um, whatever, dress all of these before we carry them. They're just too heavy. Uh, let's see what our, our rest looks like. Oh, we're still plenty rested. But somehow we're wet. We got, it must have started snowing while we were still out there. So that's going to make us heavier. It's pretty cool. Quartering gives you some neat options. Um, I, I was. I'm trying to think like. With the bear, it's so heavy already, you're already going to have to do something ridiculous to get the meat hung. But with like a wolf, it actually might make more sense for, for a deer, especially. Uh, okay, so 153 pounds is, you know, a metric fuck ton. But that's it. Oh my god, I did not, uh, did not anticipate killing a bear today. I'm going to, to take this with us. The, the guts, I feel like we might as well because we're already going to be smelly, you know? I don't think, uh, I don't think the smelliness just keeps going out of this cap or something. We're not going to be able to climb down the rope. So if the safest thing, well, God almighty, the safest thing to do is to probably leave all this stuff top of the rope and then take multiple trips. That's probably the safest thing. The fastest thing is probably to walk back down the road. That way we don't get lost. Um, and we don't uh, have to take multiple trips. Um, So I think for once, we're going to do the safer thing. Because if we, if we follow the road, all those wolves that we passed at a distance, they'd be coming for us. Whereas if we take the rope, we actually might escape without seeing any wolves at all. So probably what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop as much stuff as I can 
carry as much meat down as I can. And then come back up. Hopefully it'll only take two trips. Not sure. So I think it's gonna take three. All right, so let's go ahead and honestly, so I don't like sleeping outside. So we're just going to sleep for like two hours at a time. You can't wake up, you can't choose to wake up from sleeping. I think, I think in the lower difficulties, it'll wake you up if you get cold and stuff, but not true for for stalker. Okay. Trying to get rid of as we can. How are we going to get this to the road? I'm hoping that we walk at a decent pace, but I, I don't think uh, that's, how, that's how it's going to go. <coughs> now, I found out something, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do four. I found out that if you, that the longer you sleep sequentially, the, the more conditioned you get. Uh, which isn't, which isn't really relevant for our situation now, but uh, so that means that you have to kind of do that trade-off. What's the chance that I freeze to death while I while I'm sleeping versus uh, you know get that condition that I need that kind of thing? I wish, I wish the game made that more clear. I shouldn't have to read the forums to to figure out the mechanics of the game, but uh, it is what it is. Fully rested, but, but it's snowing. Wanna bet uh there's like a wolf behind us. We can't move. Man. That quartering is uh brutal. But can we drop things in the car? What would that even do? And what would we want to drop? I mean, I guess the meat, but... Um, can't, can't drop it. Okay, so let's put the wood down. It's kind of risky, but... It's just a little bit cold. Still can't move. Um, I'm getting in here only to to think because it's not paused when I'm looking at the door. And the more we stay outside, the more water we take on. So, we don't really need these, but I want to give ourselves options, especially considering how heavy this stuff is. I mean, that's kind of the, the deal. So what I'm going to do, oh, I 
can't, I can't get the trunk. Okay, we can barely move at 120. Just have to pick it all up. Can't get the meat. How much do we want to carry? Boy. That's pretty... 20... We really should just put up the hacks. Okay. So I'm going to get in here to warm up. And then uh, all we're going to do is walk to the rope, um, drop all the meat, and just a couple of other things that uh, we don't need to come back here. Let this meat bring it to the rope. So that'll be the first, the first little step. stuff is uh, decaying so I'm just going to I'm not going to feel too bad about eating it because it's going to wear, wear out is that it for the water? a little bit left boy that snow is coming down Not a big fan of the snow. We're going to get wet doing this. And we're already. Uh... We're already. So this is kind of weird. This is the one on the outside, is supposed to be the outer layer. Um, and yet, this one is getting wet. Like you see how it comes from the outside on these? I don't know if it's reversed on headgear. Ooh, it's actually getting nastier. Try that hour of sleep. Boy, I hope it doesn't turn into a full book because it kind of sounds like a. Alright. We're in a car. We're relatively safe. But, don't have any more water.
So I'm <clears throat> going to try to wait the storm out. If, uh, how funny would it be to die with 80 pounds of meat? Not very. But also pretty funny. Um, It's possible that we could make a fire, like behind the car, you know, against the railing, to, in order to make, um, in order to make water, and in order to dry our clothes out. Um, but then we run the risk of getting wetter if it doesn't work. And uh, and then having a much harder time getting home. So that's kind of what's going through my head. Pro act probably shouldn't have it eaten that because it made us more thirsty. sleep when we can because what we definitely don't want is to get tired. That um, that reduces our max weight. No, that's that is not an improvement. water. Oh, we can drink these. Like, if it really comes down to it, we can drink our teas. Um, I can't remember how much it gives you, but I think they're pretty hydrated. It's actually kind of getting late. Going to oh the blizzard's gone okay all right we have to be expecting wolves if there's any nearby that come up with all this money. Um, so I think if it's viable I'm going to drop down to the house. We're going to you know, get a hundred percent. Get our water situation straight. Put what we can away. Uh, and then come back up with a little light. Just with a light. It's always uh, it's, it's one of the beautiful things about this game that that feeling of precariousness. That feeling. that no matter how much you stash away in that 
house. And that car. That, uh, that your time is borrowed. It's, it's beautiful. It's exhilarating. And it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, cooking water 0.14 gallons at a time whatever else nonsense the developers decide to, to have. It's good. No, no wolves. It's number one uh, fear. Now, they still could, they could get us down here. Uh, but I think we'll be dropping most of the Most of the meat, at least for this first trip. So, okay. so we need to get under sixty six. This, it's this sleeping bag. So I dropped um, some guts. We'll come back more. I, I, of course, want to chase him. Um, but we still got a ton of meat. Losing condition due to thirst. So I think it makes sense not to run off <coughs> as much as uh, as much as that means we have a good chance of losing it. All right, let's put the wet goods down.
have do we? Okay, we still have uh it? rabbit and wolf and deer. We've got all the meats now. Um let's uh Only point two pounds. These are all small, actually. Okay, that should be. Very good. Now let's put stuff away. to rot. <clears throat> yeah, just for now, instead of worrying about changing clothes, I'm going to put uh, the new clothes in here. So that number 53 is pretty good. We've got some stuff we can put in here. We're going to go after the wolf. Just primarily for the arrow, but uh, So I heard it collapse. Is that it? Boy. That was pretty lucky that he came. Um I don't see the ear. I don't see the arrow. I wonder if we quartered it when we get the arrow. Let's try. see it. I'm a little bit worried now. Let's get back in the house. Let's 
So either the arrow disappeared when he fell. We can do it back again. Um, so what people on the forum seem to think is that uh, if you shoot it and it sticks in that side that they fall down on, that you can't see it. Um, but it's not clear that that's what actually happens because there's no way to really disprove that theory. Um, it's totally possible that um, what's actually happening is that the error just disappears. And then people will say, ah, I bet it's, uh, I bet it's down below. But no, no, no idea. No. That's a possibility. Um, but there's another more real possibility, which is that... Actually, no, I was going to say that it glanced. So when it glances, it doesn't stick in. It, um, it makes them bleed, but it doesn't necessarily kill them. And that they don't usually bleed out. Um, and then the arrow falls to the ground, but... But he bled out. So that seems unlikely. At any rate, we're going to look for it tomorrow. I might, I think that I care too much about these arrowheads, but um, they are light. Well, we sure as hell have enough meat. Um, we're not very tired. So I'm going to go ahead and cook probably the wolf. And we, we don't need water, but. Four, five, six. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, put those six steaks in the burner, in the burners that we have, and then I'll, I'll leave the bear outside. So we've invented. a little quest for ourselves just to go back up to that ridge get the rest of our bear but uh, there's no reason to hurry up okay so how long does it take to put a steak? 50 minutes or something? I don't know. Things have been so exciting in Milton, we haven't really had time to gather a huge supply of wood. We have enough, but can't afford to waste it. Fire. For an hour. Oh my god, this is killing me. This, this interface is so bad. And, and that it's even worse when you don't have cooking pots. It's four minutes. 
six minutes till ready, so more stick. That should do it. Sample all the meats. Um, now, we need to think about going ultralight for our return trip. So let's just I'm just gonna go heaviest down. We'll leave the crowbar. Um, keep one ten down, and then close. Put the gun away. Maybe the manual. One flare. Already at 36. Okay, so. Oh, that was by condition. That wasn't by weight. Okay, I oh, will take another look at that. Um, so we don't even have a replacement for pants. Oh, actually, we have jeans. It really depends on how greedy you want to be. Um, Big, big problem is uh, if we get a storm or something, we'll be less prepared to to do emergency stuff, like run through the blizzard. Uh, hi, Samer Camp. Welcome. Play this game before it was released. Yeah, I I I started a long time ago. It's it's a lot better. They. I think the big thing is that they added custom, customized difficulty. So there's about 50 different f settings that you can turn on and off. Um, you can adjust how aggressive the wolves are, or how bad the weather is, all sorts of stuff like that. That that made me start playing again because I was in the same camp. I felt like I had kind of gotten everything. Uh, I wanted to add it again. But um, yeah, it's it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, welcome. This isn't exactly Paladins, but uh, uh, I I generally play all sorts of stuff on stream. We so you missed you missed some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we just killed a bear, and I'm trying to figure out how to go and bring back all of its meat to our little setup here. Um, so we'll, I think I think I don't want, I don't want to be too risky. Let's leave the leave the pants situation alone. And just change out the jacket. So, just ski jacket.
and we'll repair that. Pinnacle is making a bear for a coat. Nice. I've actually never made one. Um, we've been wearing a, a wolf fur coat. We turned the bear into. Uh, we turned the bear into a sleep bag. Right, so there is remains of that wolf. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so something I lament about a lot on this stream is how a lot of the things in this game aren't explained and you, you have to read the wiki or the forums to understand. Which kind of, I, I don't know. In my eye, that ruins it. But, uh, I think the situations that you bind up in are interesting enough that I keep playing. Uh, all right, let's let's, uh, let's see if we can't repair this coat. Should be just um, cloth. Do we have a sewing kit? Very nice. Let's look. In fact, we'll look at everything. Our shoes are actually pretty worn out. Um, all right, I'm going to try to repair it outside. It's pretty windy. Windy and cold. But we should be fine. All right, that's as good as it is. Um, Yeah, there's, I mean, I don't know, the, the developers are kind of weird. They, I think they have this idea about mystery, narrative, I, I, don't, I don't know. They don't, um, they don't appreciate what a nice thing they've got, I think. Because, yeah, it would be great if it, if it explained, you know, just basic stuff, like which weapon um, is best to attack animals. Not best, what are the trade-offs? Um, and you have to go to people in the forum to do that. Uh, I think, I think I've done everything I really want to do. So, what are we, what are we down to? Let's see, that way, don't need that. The meat, the meat will put a, Ice box. Well, I wish it were an ice box. Down to thirty four ish. Ready for bed, I think. Um, gave new story mode a quick try. Didn't like it. Yeah, I, I still haven't played the story mode. I, I, I've basically only heard bad things about it, so I just never played it. Um, it's determination. Yeah, sadly, it still works. Um, I, I decided... I, I just think it's stupid, so for this playthrough, um, I'm essentially... It's just... I'm just not going to do it. I mean, there's no, uh, there's nothing preventing me from doing it, but I'm just choosing not to. So I always keep my food topped up, and I always keep my water topped up. And uh, it's wasteful, but I think that's how the game should be. I, I don't think you should 
It's also tedious. I really don't like tedium. And when the best strategy is to take off all your clothes before you go to bed so that they don't wear out as fast and then put them all back on in the morning. Like, it's just, it's just tedious as fuck. So, I don't do it. Um, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, just, just, just don't want to see bars get up. Um, yeah, look at all these critters we've killed. So this is, so this is our home, away from home, away from home. I don't know if you're familiar with the maps, but um, we started in Mystery Lake. We went to um, Coastal Highway, so we have our main base in Coastal Highway and a little sort of side side place in Mystery Lake. And then this is um, one of the newer maps called Milton. And uh, we've set up camp here. We're going to do some exploring. Uh, and there's a completely new map that's just off of this map. So we're setting ourselves up for that. Um, and that one has no interiors. It's all wilderness. Yeah, Mystery Lake and Coast. Yeah, those are those are my favorite. Um. All right. Well. I think it'd be stupid not to carry at least a little bit of water. But we're still at. Uh, 33 pounds. So that's, we can carry 33 pounds of meat, give or take, down the road each time. Um, we also have to make it back to that car. Alright, well, we're going to look at the arrow. Look for the arrow first. I think. There's a deer over by the school, but um, I think we have enough meat. Mystery Lake was the only one where I was playing most. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about when I started. And I think Coastal Highway was the first one they added. All right, so first things first, let's look for our arrow. I'll pick up our. Fucking shit. Wait, what? Oh, the god. The audio is kind of glitched. So, we shot him. Apparently we shot him good, but not good enough to kill him. So that when we started attacking him, he, um, he just about immediately died. I'm going to go ahead and Get everything. God, that scared the shit out of me. Um, and we're just going to drop it right up by, back by the house. Since. Ah, oh, I can't go up. They still haven't added a jump. But, um. But there are people who are modding the game now. And they've added a jump. All right, so that's uh, it's not exactly what I thought. How I thought this was going to work out. Whew. So I'm trying to find room. I I don't need to be picking up pelts and stuff. Maybe deer. Deer's probably the only pelt we should pick up at this point. No more wolf pelts. Goodness gracious. Oh, we have meat. Ah, da da da. Alright, let's put that away. Hey, Pale. How's it going, man? <clears throat> um. You, you've, as usual, Pale, you've missed all the exciting parts. We've killed, uh, we killed another bear. And, uh, we almost died. 
and uh, now everything's fine. So you've missed you've missed all the exciting bits. What's going on, Pale? Just gonna wait here like five seconds to warm up. Make sure we don't have any more junk. Uh, hides and whatnot. Yeah, well, the good news is there's still an adventure waiting for us because there's 80 pounds or 60 kilograms. I don't know, maybe that's ish, correct? Uh, of bear that we have to bring down from the mountain. And um, how to do that without dying is going to be a thing. You never got to go with the boat. It's, it's really tricky. I find that um, it doesn't do enough damage to kill the wolves instantly. At least um, at least with my aim. So I, I pretty much always wind up hitting them in the back. You have to hit them in the head. And my aim is not good enough. Um, so it's it's tough. They also, um, I think more or less the wolves pretty much work the same as they used to. Um, there's, there's really nothing smart about them. But they're super aggressive. They, they implemented smell. I guess you played during that part, but the question is, oh, should we climb? Let's see how much energy this uses. So we're at, we're at where we're at. Um, we'll do this once to see. So the implemented smell, so when you're carrying meats and things like that, the wolves are attracted from a longer distance. But it's not really, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They're just uh, monsters. That wasn't bad. So here's some of this meat. But we actually need, uh, need to go get the rest. It's where we left it in the car. Pretty insane with the hunting rifle. Managed to kill a bear one shot. And chasing it until it bled out. Cool. Yeah, the, it's a very satisfying rifle to shoot, especially when uh, everything's trying to kill you in this game, and then you find a rifle. Just as it wolves to be a lone one. Yeah, so we're, we're playing on Stalker, it's, it's, we've modified it a little bit. Um, to get rid of uh, two things. One is parasites, and the other is uh, cabin fever. Um, but, yeah, normally, the, the, I don't know. There's too many wolves. There's too many wolves. I wish there were more antagonists in this game. Because, you're, you're right, it used to be that they would gang up on you. Um, we only see like generally one or two at a time now, but it's just, it's like they're just spread out. So wherever you go, there's a wolf, like wherever you go. Uh, especially if you're carrying, if you're carrying meat, they see you from much further, so they come and get you. Dire moose and giant rats. Hey, well, there are, there are moose. There's actually moose in the game. 
But yeah, giant rabbits? I'm all for it, man. Uh, panthers? Lions? Alright, so at some point we're going to come back and we're going to explore this, uh, explore the rest of this bridge and explore this river, but, um, but we've got to get this bear back first, so, oh, we left two, we left a meat, we left two meats. Let's pick all this up, let's see, the side. Okay. Alright, we're at 73, so that's actually not bad at all. Um, did we put anything in the glove box now? Okay, alright, back to the rope. Um, we have to be careful because now we have the meat, so more likely to in a wolf encounter. That's what that little gauge in the top middle is. People thought it was warmth. It's. I think it's just not. How would you know that that's smell? It's just not a very good icon. Frost worms and snow giants. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... I, what would it be? I don't know. necessarily want it to be unrealistic, but at the same time, I just don't find the wolves very interesting. I don't know. So far, so good. We killed a wolf on this little ridge a couple of nights ago. Avalanches, ooh. And the avalanches uh, are based on noise or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's always easy to. It's hard to figure out uh, what should be done instead, but but that's the nice thing about the custom settings. When we play this again, I'm going to turn the wolves down, and I'm going to turn the, the weather up. Early game blizzards, yeah. Yeah, if you turn it on the hardest setting, it'll actually, uh, you actually have a chance of spawning in a blizzard in the nighttime. And that's just kind of uh, ridiculous. So, um, need to bring meat down. How much? I think it has to be uh, has to be under your sixty-six. So this is going to take more than. Three. Actually, probably going to start getting tired as we go down. But we, we might slip. <clears throat> um, I'm not exactly sure what happens if you become burdened while you're on the road. I guess we did it, so... Alright. Uh, we didn't... we didn't see the arrow.
but I didn't look too carefully for it either. I think we went this way. I think we shot the wolf here. So the arrow could have skidded. I guess. I don't I don't know. I certainly don't see it. I think I think we've uh, I think we've lost another arrow. is bear number not bear number two but bear load number two um i think we'll just go inside and take a small nap and then try to grab another uh, maybe i'll i'll use coffee ourselves. So I'm going to take a two-hour nap, and then we'll make uh, we'll make another haul, another trip. Looks good enough. Since we're just going straight up the road, um, we shouldn't need any water. And then I'll take this coffee. So this will let us get like 35 pounds. It's probably still going to take two more trips. But maybe we can do it one after another. Oh. Shoot. I thought that that might be a better way to, to go up, but to be impassable, but we could do this. I'm trying to stay off the street. I think this will put us about halfway. Which kind of sucks. 
I guess it's fair. It saves us quite a bit of time. That's more than I thought. I thought the coffee would help with that. Alright, so got a drop. I don't think we have. And we're actually so tired now. Um should be able to throw it. Should be able to just throw stuff down the cliff. Okay. Alright, yeah, we can't go back up. It's too uh too exhausted. I'll do is just leave that, leave that there, and so that we have, uh, we have it if we need it. It's outside, so it shouldn't uh, rot very quickly. Because um, we're definitely going back up there to do a little exploring. It's time to cook some of it. Let's uh, let's cook six steaks. Right, safe and sound. So one cedar stick, cedar log, is an hour and 15. But that should be enough for the breach stick. <laughs> if I can get them all placed in 16 minutes, 15 minutes. It's within the minute, so I'll add a stick. That should do it. Beautiful. <sighs> so now we're ready to plan our trip back up there. Um, whether we go down the river, see where that leads, um, I'll keep going down the road and look for 
look for that next map, that next area. I kind of want to do both. But I also... switch out to the good boots. Like fine. Are these our good boots? Ah, okay. Um just go back to our clothes because I'm not going to kill any more bears. So I'm not going to be bringing 80 pounds back with us. Now we're prepared for, uh, for a blizzard. Um, the only thing that we could upgrade I think is this sweater. But, I think this is good. All right, so that's it for close. We're under 40 pounds. Which is nice. Don't really think we picked up a whole lot of stuff that we dropped off. Um, but I will take crowbar again, the trunks. I guess I'll just start making these first hit things while the fire is going. To be on the safe side, we're not gonna carry meat when we travel. Shit, it's full. early so I'm gonna take like a nap and then read from that book. <laughs> Which of course I keep in the refrigerator. Um So we've got two books in here, but I think they're both 
rifle? We should read this one first, because this is um lower level. So tomorrow we're going to go back up there. I'm going to try to take the the around, I think, so that we don't have to climb the rope. It's kind of funny. I wonder which saves, which actually saves energy. We'll try to take a look. Still morning. whole lot of food because I think there's if we go down that river we'll find cattails so that's probably what I'll do. Uh, bear skin? I I feel like that lets be a whole lot more brazen. Yeah that's fine. Alright. ton of water, so uh, we can drop it if we need it, otherwise we have it. I think this looks pretty good. There's one more place I want to look for that arrow, and that's where we uh, where we butchered the Wolf. Uh, but it's on the way. Well, I think it was like over here or something. But there's no error. So, yeah, I mean, that, that bothers me. They, I, I don't think it's a mechanic. I don't think that they intend for you to lose arrows that you stick into wolves. In this last patch, they said they fixed it, but uh, it seems to be happening. All right, so how do we do this? We went to the right. And just straight up, I think. It's a little bit chilly.
You know, I said I wasn't going to kill a bear, but... What if we find the moose? Find them. Yeah, this is what we did. Because we've left uh, sapling stops here. If, man, if we found a moose into those cars, I think I'd just have to. It's nature asking me to kill the moose. Start picking up sticks for fire. Uh, this wind doesn't look good. See? What's oh, right there? I can't tell if it's chasing me. It really sounds angry. I don't know what I did. just gone in a circle. Jesus Christ, I hate the wolves. Okay, we can't run it. Like, doesn't he have some wolfy business to go attend to? I mean, seriously. Go to your wolf meetings or shit. Where's the road? I think I think the road's to our right. Hey, there's a there's a freaking building over there. Have we been to that? I remember seeing that red thing, but I don't remember seeing the building. I could just be forgetting them. I think we've lost the wolf. Since I'm here. Hey, look. Looks like a cave. That could be the cave that leads to the new zone. Um, so I think that the road is right across this ridge. I feel pretty confident. It's actually cold enough that we need to go in the cave anyway. Aha! So, let's pop in. Well, it is... It's a little bit dark in here. I can't see shit.
So we definitely need to bring a lantern. Um, but I think this is probably where the new zone is. I don't, I don't want to go to it yet. We'll spend a couple more days in Melton. So, yeah, it's not, it's not very far from my house, really. I'm just going to... I hope I don't lose this stupid thing. Take a little nap, warm up. Hopefully the weather changes. Okay. Let's go ahead and finally heat this energy for it. is it cold, but it's snowing pretty badly. Okay. That sucks. I'm going to head to to the cars. I'd love to find a piece of firewood, but I don't want to chop wood in this stuff. So here is here is the road, and we're really close to the pond. So um, I'm not going to go home, but what I will do is grab some of that firewood, and then maybe we'll snuggle up in this uh, open air cave on the right side of the road and dry out a bit. We need to. Good lord, the wind is like. This is like playing Celeste. And it's still not noon. We really woke up early. didn't put the rose hips back in the refrigerator. That's like two pounds. Okay. This, uh, this bear sleeping bag makes me kind of feel Invincible, but it certainly makes me feel more bold, which is bad, of course. Alright. Still not going to go home, but I am. I'm going to move this meat to the to the cave, and we'll cook we'll cook some of it in here. 
think that makes sense. And then we can always go back to that cave for shelter, for food, uh, maybe some water if we make it. I like that idea. And best of all, it's right across from the real cave. Um, and so probably the new zone. And it's taking our scent over there to the left, which is not good. So I found that there's an idea that people have may or may not be true. Um, I think it's it's pretty clear that crows fly around bodies, right? That's, you can't really argue that, but there's also these transversal crows, I don't know, migratory crows, just kind of fly across the map. And I've seen them before, I just thought they were a random thing. But some people say that that they happen before a, a weather change. Or that they signal blizzards in particular, um, which could be true. There doesn't seem to be any definitive proof that they're true. That is true. All right, this is where we really want the fire. I don't know why this. The reason this dude died is because he built a fire out there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and make the fire. So yeah, the thing about the crows is pretty neat, if it's true. You pay attention to the birds. I, I really like that idea. Uh, there's all sorts of things that people who work outside, people who live outside, um, people who, let's say, whose livelihoods depend on the environment, you know, like um, red sky delight, red sky at night, sailor's delight, that kind of stuff, that are somewhat true. I don't even, how do you even do this? You have this stupidest mechanism. You can't, you can't click on these stupid things unless they have a pot in them. something, sky in the morning, sailors take warning, something. <sighs> Those things, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff like that. Some of it turns out to be true, but uh, there's plenty that isn't, that do not turn out to be true. So we're almost dry already. Um, what I'll do is I think take uh, take a little break here, just a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back.
Okay. Okay. A little cozy little place we've got ourselves. Smell of bear meat. The uh, roaring of non potable water. Very cozy. So, I guess I'll keep making these. I really, I meant to put them back in the fridge. This is very heavy. All right, so take it. Four more, and I'll just leave a bunch here. Um, Probably a lot of, of this wood that I picked up as well. This will be a nice little place. Oh, I never replaced that arrow. Hope we don't need more than four. dry. It's mostly stopped snowing. The wind is really howling. You can, I feel like you can really see the, that uh, chromatic aberration in the grass there. Um, Alright, so I'll drop Three. Uh, I was thinking we'd take the torches into the cave, but might as well just take the the uh, lantern. Oh, we have two the two books too. My goodness. Well, this is why I didn't want to rush off to that new zone. Um, very filthy. Just realize it's got a boil. I mean, uh, oh, okay. Weather is on the I think perfect timing. Um, this little fellow's not looking so hot, but I uh, don't know why he decided to build his fire there. Kind of wonder. So the cave then is just across there and to the right of it. Make sure I drop the food. Okay. Back on the road. Um,
deer still, hopefully. So I thought that the news end might be across the bridge, but I don't know. I feel like it, I know it's through a cave, so that's probably the one that we passed. The question is, where do we go now? Do we continue to? Go down the road. Uh, we're gonna go down and explore the river and see where that takes us. If it takes us anywhere, I mean, I guess it must go somewhere. But I don't know where our river comes out. I, I don't know. Let's at least get the cars first. So this was the bear car, I think. We. So that was the first bear car, but we never got this one because of the bear. So let's search. parts of the map. A lot of times have uh, saplings. I think that's a path down to it. Let's follow the road all the way out and see where it goes. Probably, probably more cars. That looks like something. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Deer. I, as much as I want your meat. What I really want is your hide. It puts the lotion on. Hi doesn't smell. Oh, is that it? So it's just, uh, this is where the bear lives, I guess. Well, lived. Check that one off the list. That was easy. Let's try this. 
this is something, this is a path here. It's maybe about two or three. Kind of grove or something. Every map's got a grove. Kind of looks like another hay. It's another cave. It's another cave. It's two caves. This one is not pitch black, though. So we're really we're doing fine except for rest. Because we can see, I'm tempted to explore. Ooh. A ravaged wolf carcass? I've never seen that. Who ravages a wolf carcass? It must be a a a, 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 a wyvern or a snow giant. shouldn't be doing this. Because if I get lost, oh, well, here's the, here's the other end. Oh no, it's not the other, it's just a hole. I really should be doing this. You can always make a torch, I suppose. like an adventure. Wait, what? Oh god, it's a crawl space. There's the other entrance. 
So this is this is it. This is the entrance. This is the passage to the other zone. Well, now we have to pop our heads out at least, just to confirm here. Good God. Wait. So we didn't get a message. We're still in Mountain Town. So where the hell are we? Um, all right, this is really silly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really small fire, which totally wastes a match. I'll, I'll use it to pull some more torches. Let's do... Um, uh, but then I get some charcoal and I'll map where we are to help us figure it out. That makes sense. And uh, doesn't feel cheaty since that's in game. We have that wolf meat too, actually. I'll just cook the wolf meat. Uh, so we'll put on. Oh, I have to drop it. Hour 15. Oh, well, I can't really. So. I'll sleep an hour. What if this is the cave that I thought went to the next zone? So then they just kind of. I feel like it was on the other side of the road, right? This was on the left, that was on the right. So that would be weird. Now we just, uh, does not look good out there. We, we may, we may wind up spending the night here. It's, uh, it's like sunset. So we always know we can go back through the cave. Exit out of that thing, go down the thing, find the road. But this might be close to something we know too, so. Come on. Come on. If I were sure that I was going to spend the night, I would probably just like read something. Because I don't want to wait 
Uh, but I'm not sure. If this is that first cave we found, then we can just hop, hop out and go to bed. I mean, go home. Oops. Good God. Do we have the sleeping bag? Yes. Can't map. Can't map. Oh, what? Didn't mean to do it. So I could take a quick run. Basically to the left, I should see the road. If it's that first one. But if it's not, I'm just scared. Are they getting somehow lost or eaten? Oh, you can't go to the left. Oh, then this is definitely somewhere else. I have no clue what this is. Um, well, I'm interested enough in figuring out where this is that I think, I think we'll just spend the night here and we'll, we'll map it in the morning. Hopefully I can read, because I'm not very tired. Here at the entrance of this cave. And then, hey, drop them. Save the weight. Blast it all. such bad weather that I uh, can't even read outside. Um, okay. Take a little nap. Pick it up, otherwise we fucking lose it in the dark. Um, probably can't do this. Okay, but if I can, I can't, I can't even see. Oh, there it is. I thought it was pitch black. All right. Alright, we leveled up our gun skill. So we'll drop. Drop that. And this one's this bad boy's gonna take a while. I think I'll do. I'll do one more, and then we'll we'll go to bed for the rest of the night. 
pocket. Find our way back in. So I'm really, I'm really intrigued. Where could this possibly be? It's still in the, the region. It could be like like you know how we had to climb up and down ropes to get here in the first place. Maybe it's an area like that. Oh yeah, we don't even have to worry about the smell. It's the only thing we've mapped, so I have no clue. Let's take a look. Try to find this old man's beard like Those are the Oh, no, those are circling. So I think there might be other ways of getting to Mountain Town. But the, the only way I know of is the, uh, the way through Mystery Lake, so this could be the other way. Unless that's the lake that's above the house, or somehow above it. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I think I want the meat. I mean, I do, of course, but... This is um this is the, the thing that looks like climbing. <laughs> so uh, when we try to go to the tower, is this is this that? If it is, we missed a rose bush, so I kinda think this is somewhere completely different. I I have no idea. Adventure man. How, 
how I can't believe that I wouldn't have picked up Rosex. Which which makes me think we haven't been here. Kinda looks like Maybe there's a deer straight across? Yeah, looks like looks like a deer. Man, this bear rug has really made me do stupid things. So... There's cattails. Point, I wish we had mapped the town just so that I'd sort of know the, the direction. trying to decide. I don't... We have three hides in total for the, for the for deer. I, I don't think we need more. like I've got what this place looks like. Crazy. Why do I keep going? I should totally destroy my but I think, I think, um, oh, well, if we just go a little bit further, I'm sure we'll recognize. I think I hear the waterfall. Well, not anymore.
They really got to fix the audio. Why do I have to fight them? Um. Well, he he sought us out even without me on us. Is that a very good reason to, to harvest him? Maybe not. I think we've got enough sticks. Go big, go home. Wait, why isn't this deer frozen? So this place looked again, this is the second time I thought this now, but also looked like that little lake that overlooks the house. So let's go back and investigate it. Any wolf in the area is going to come for us, but, you know, fucking bring it on. Oh, this is not the way. Jesus Christ. I keep hitting the back still. What the fuck is this? Crash plane was on the mountain. The TLM or whatever they call it. So where are we? I don't see. Don't see the town. What the fuck? Now, I don't know anybody who, who doesn't keep soda in the briefcase. I think that's... Okay, I think that's the waterfall that we passed.
I don't really know. I have, I have no clue, actually. That sort of looks like you can climb it. Yeah, this, so this must not be... I mean, well, well, we're definitely not on the, the mountain. Um, There's supposed to be like cargo containers. And aren't any here. Um, I'm starting to think that we're not going to just walk into town, but I'm compelled to keep looking. I want to know what's next. We also need to cook this meat. Is climbing. Okay. Well, let's make a little fire. Uh, wish we we could go all the way back to the cave, but I'm too lazy. So I'm gonna put the fire here. We'll cook. At least, you know, the two steaks. We should make water. Um, and I'm going to keep going. I feel pretty confident that we've got enough stuff that we could last for a while. I think, if anything, I might run out of matches. But. So let's do um, and the good thing is we get another piece of uh, coal. So, one hour, one minute, one hour, twenty four minutes. Nine minutes, uh, so quick space. Think of it. In it, for whatever reason, put it on the ground so that we can cook it. Wind is getting. It's 
it's worth. Maybe it's three. Thirty-one. Do one more. Okay, take two minutes. Oh, I shouldn't have put in so many sticks because now we have to wait to get the charcoal. Can you not douse? You should be able to like douse fires. I guess I can take a torch. Press. Torch. Press. H. Okay, tank. So if I have to wait for this. Um. Wow. Okay, I'm going to drink that. Jesus. So, okay, so, now that we're climbing, I think maybe this could be the one over the, over the, the house, but, uh, probably not. That would be too lucky. So do we draw now? Or we'll get to the bottom. Let's draw when we get to the bottom. Roses. I, I, rose flavor is a thing. They flavor foods with rose. Um, if you read the the Narnia stuff, I have a feeling we are in deep. Sorry, so if you read the Narnia stuff, the thing the Snow Queen gave to the boy was... Where are we? Uh, Rose-flavored uh, Turkish delights. Or, or maybe they would not specify the, the flavor, but Turkish Delights, the traditional flavor is rose. They do lemon and stuff, but... It's disgusting. It tastes like... flowers. Okay, this is... This is clearly not the place just above our house. But we've got, uh... Got another deer. I'm absolutely not going to get this high. I see the road, so we're coming to the road, but I'm 
where that road is. Oh shit. Maybe we're not coming to it. I see a gate. That worries me. Um. Because what if this is the cave that goes to the other region? Um, then I'm not gonna say fucked, because we just climb back up the way we came. But so much stuff. Uh, but it's not just going to be like, okay, we've climbed up the mountain and now we're, we can walk to, to the house. Okay, that's a good find. Um, inst yeah, instead it means we have to go all the way back. So, Let's hope. Is this even a cave? Oh shit, it looks like a bear cave. Jesus Christ, this just gets worse and worse. Well, I think it's pretty clear that we have to spend the night here. So I'm gonna go ahead and survey. Crashed plane. I have no clue where we are. There's plenty of wood. So I think we'll make another fire and we'll cook the rest of this actually might make a hundred percent torch Normally I do it by hand. Big flat. This is just some set. And we've got this glinting off the uh, clouds. Or... Jesus Christ. Huh. Why well, that lucky? Well, where's the bear? Is this a dead end? I thought this was a go inside kill. But, uh, it's not a good This was quite a trek. If we have to go all the way back, all right. I'm gonna cook the rest of this meat, and uh, and make water and whatnot. Drop.
I kind of hope to be able to see that, but... I don't think there's a path. Um... That's it. Jesus. Okay, well. We'll explore more in the daytime, but it seems like uh, this is just a dead end. Oh, the soda's wrecked, too. So, I heard that they changed the way... Um, ...deterioration works. It used to be that things didn't start deteriorating until you found them. They'd start in a random state, but... Um, they didn't... They didn't actually start going down from that until you found them. And that now things go down... All ...from the beginning. Uh, and that could be why we're seeing this. All this food and all this drinks so low. Five minutes till it's ready. We should have time to to read one before it burns. <laughs> I I don't have another cup. I, I don't think sodas turn into cups. So it's yeah, so it's not going to be efficient, but we need water. So. keeps hitching and uh, it's because it's saving. But I don't know why it's saving. We're just making water. So it's a point eight. I think that that actually you know what? I'm just gonna what else are we going to do with this fire? Okay. Take ten. Don't think we need fire anymore. So I'll drink and eat and then go to bed. And tomorrow we will try to work ourselves out of this situation we've got to sense.
actually losing temperature in the cave with all of our clothes on. Oh shit, we're losing temperature in the bed. Stop, 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 stop. I'm glad, God almighty, I'm glad that we only did one hour. Well. The question is, should I do a fire or should I just sleep in the, uh, the bearskin rug? I don't no. Bed one front is 20. That should be enough. Ooh, doggies. I thought the bed, since it's called bed, would have a good warmth bonus. I, I didn't really um, pay attention if it said it. Still cold. But it's warming up. Thank goodness. Gosh. If I had done like four hours or something, it would have been all she wrote. Can we go down? Ooh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could. We could go down. But I don't think we'd be getting up. Shit. We've got to go back up. This place didn't even have really all that good of stuff. Disappointing. So, oh wait, wait, hold on. Did I get those rose hips? I think we can. Oh, that's how we can. Shit. I was gonna say, I think. You climb up that tree, but I think that's how we got there. What about over here? Oh. I think we got here by climbing this tree. And then climbing those walls. Well, here we go. Back to the way we came. Um, I just hope we can climb while bird. Okay. 
what's the point of this area? Hey, Risto! What's going on? We've, uh, we've gotten our ourselves into quite a situation. Uh, we've gone off on this adventure and apparently come to a dead end. Somehow we just sprained our wrist. Well, she can only climb these certain places where you're allowed to climb. But apparently she just sprained her wrist. Uh, so I have a feeling we're not going to be able to climb with a sprained wrist. Oh. It's letting us climb with a sprained wrist? So I, I thought for sure it wouldn't. Woke up today at 3 p.m. Can't carry a weapon. Huh? Um, so we found the crash site. Uh, yeah, my my sleeping's been messed up the past couple weeks. I can't uh, I can't seem to get it normal. It sucks. Um, yeah, we found where we crashed. And, uh, really wasn't a whole lot of stuff here to loot, sadly. Slept for 14 hours. Jeez. That's, that's a lot of sleep. Well, maybe you needed it. Kind of looks like there might be something here. in our leg now, watch. Now you have a headache. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I get it too. You sleep for too long and you get a headache. And it's, with me, it just like lasts all day, no matter what. You drink water, it doesn't matter. Take a nap. Um, I, I think there's no way out of this area. We have to climb. Too many hours in front of the PC. <laughs> Maybe. Did the computer wear you out? I thought the reason they had so many of those rose bushes is to make it so that if you sprained your wrist, you'd have to you'd have to heal it in order to climb out. But, uh, oh, a hangover. Well, I mean, I, that, doesn't that kind of explain it? Um, we sort of think we have enough meat. It's like a day's worth. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to chop that deer. Okay, so this should lead us to the cave. See, we're not lost. Uh, that's what we read. And... The 
this will bring us back to the end of the road. If we can make it through here. And I think this is the way. We're probably missing like rifles and bullets on the ground. This is the exit, just yet. Okay, so there's the exit. So, what I'm thinking is, just because I'm so miserly, uh, we'll sleep. sleep to, to get rid of the, uh, the ankle, but the, the, the wrist problem. Hopefully she can get through two hours. Perfect. So that way we don't have to use any, any tea. Um, because things are, we're about to go back out into this op the open world, and we need our weapon. So we haven't had to really drop anything uh, or use any good supplies. Look how many of these we have! Oh my God, I have. I'm carrying so much stuff. What? I really don't need this. It's nice that we travel light so that we can pick up stuff. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is map the other side of this cave. so that we kind of have an idea of where we are. And then when we get back to, um, like, above the house, we will map that, too. Haven't, haven't done any serious mapping in this game. Um, but because I'm trying not to use wiki maps, in this playthrough uh, makes, makes a whole lot more sense. But we know where we are now, we just have to travel down the road, take the road to get home. What we're gonna drop, I don't know. There it is. Our lifeline. Man, weather. I'm thinking maybe we should drop that wood and it can uh, and explore the river. But we've also got this meat on us. Uh, we could put it in a car and then explore the river just a little bit. It's it's about three o'clock, so I think you know we still have plenty of time before we need to go home. But you know, I have this thing about going on adventures. 
Not sure where it might lead us to. Let's do, uh, let's do the bridge. Let's hop in here. In case God only knows what happens. Turned around like a thing. Uh, yeah, so let's let's go to the cave where we set ourselves up and drop stuff. And then explore the river. And uh, when we get home, that'll be that'll be the last thing for today. Hey, just beer, B. What's going on, man? How are you on this Sunday? I, it is Sunday, right? I know I don't usually stream long dark on Sundays. It makes me feel like it must be a different day. Monday here. Oh, okay. I think it's still Sunday. God, what time is it? Probably like seven here or eight. Right. Here's a little, little buddy bud. I need to name him, I think. So I'm going to fill up, and then I'm going to load down, especially this meat. Okay, drop. Oh. That much. And then... Uh, Still pretty happy. I don't want to drop all these hundred rose petals uh, on the on the ground. So we'll store them in our friend. He is ever so helpful. In fact. store all sorts of stuff. He's very useful. Um, so down to 57. Alright, drop the jerry can.
Alright, we're underweight, so like I said, I'm gonna take the just a sneak peek, really, because it's, it's getting late, actually. It took this longer than I thought. But we'll hop down to the river, find our find a way down. Gather some uh, of nature's hot dogs. And back to the cave, back home. Looks like that can be used as a bridge. Doesn't it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The branch is pushy. This is like a little place. Oh, look at that. What is this? I said that whole thing about the river. But look at this. Where does this go? Holy shit, there's like a whole thing. So this is the river. Lucky us. Wait. That's where we came from, right? I think so. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, how lucky is that? So the river doesn't really go anywhere. It's it's blocked up by some kind of a cave in. Um so it's maybe I'm misremember. So in all my solo playthroughs, I came down to the river from the from the uh, waterfall side, and I thought that there were cars down, there, like that they had maybe fallen off the bridge or something. And then I died. I, this is my memory, so I have no idea. I, I think I died in one of those cars because it was so cold. And, and I couldn't uh, get to safety. I don't see any cars. So. Actually, I don't see cars on top of the bridge either. Is that the same bridge? This is, a, this is the problem. This. I have no clue. Um, there, ha, 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 ha. So, not exactly cars, but there, there are cars. So yeah, I died in this car once, <laughs> trying to stay warm. Is not a problem for us because we are uh, 
are decked out. We haven't gotten a good boot so. I mean, I think it's connected, but we'll see. Am I blocked yet? No, that's the same. This looks like I can go up that tree. Or this one. Ooh, I missed all these gadgets. I just can't. Um, it does look like I can go up this. Except for this branch. Oh, I can't go through it. I, I wonder if that's intentional and this is like a one way. Well, there's got to be a way up. Because we saw a way down. I think this is it. the weather is holding. Is that a sapling? I believe that that is a sapling. Nope. Yes. No. Yes. Tools and rose hips. Uh, I feel like uh, technically these two, but I just hope that I never get an infection. Uh, or, or, or what keeps you ticking? for a long time. Is this anything over here? Kind of looks like nothing, but also maybe something. I don't, I don't think, I think it just goes back to where we were. So I believe this is the path that we saw uh, down off the side of the bridge. So hopefully this will put us, whoa! I almost stepped off that uh, rock there. Dark. But we're good. All right, so everything according to plan. Stop by the cave. 
I'm gonna try to go down the boat. I'm super rested, so we shouldn't have to worry about uh, not being carrying, not being able to carry less than 66 pounds. That leads to the river. I thought I just heard a wolf. Essentially, if you have those lichen, I, I don't think it's really even possible to get an infection. Um, and as long as you don't eat uncooked meat or something like that, I don't think you can get it. At, this, at least at this point. Um, Alright, so he's got some stuff on. So, what I'm going to do... God. That owl's the worst part about this cave. Um, drop that meat. I'm going to... Drop all the spawn. Still going to drop seven pounds. Let's see, so... Torch. I'm going to put this in here. I don't really care about it. And if we want a crowbar up here, I don't think we need the crowbar up here anymore, actually, because we've got all those cars. So that's just kind of going to be there. Um, crowbars, there's way too many crowbars. And. Perfect. Now let's just get to the rope before um, before we get too tired. Yeah. 
I can't see it. I can't really see it. Um. Where's my flares? Why? Why are its eyes skull? No, I need to go that way. You need to go that way, you stupid boy. Uh, he's gonna make the tide. His eyes are glowing in so green. Waste the flare, but perhaps we saved an arrow. Is he charging? Hopefully he cannot follow us down here. Now the last time I said something like that, we got attacked by a wolf. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't happen again. Wait, where's my player? just disappeared. I can still hear it burning. That's really weird. It looks it looks like it's up there. We must have dropped it. We must have dropped it. When we got on the rope. I didn't... I didn't know that's how it worked. Okay. Almost... Almost out. Although this part is just as dangerous as any other. Probably a little later than I should have been walking around. Um, and we wasted a flare. We used a flare. Um, but the good news is we've finished the river. Uh, so I don't think we need to go back up there. I feel like we've explored. I mean, we have really explored.
Um, so that means that probably next stream we'll try going to the the new map, the ultra hard outdoors only map. Probably spend. couple of days of melting. Preparing, getting ready, whatever. Making some more arrows. Thinking of buying it? You should, man. It's, especially if it's, um, like, what's the sale? Is the sale price good? It should be on sale for the Steam summer sale. Just think, you get to play it uh, however you want. I, I remember when I used to watch people do Let's Plays of this game, I used to think, oh, they're such idiots. Six pounds? That seems pretty cheap. That's probably, I mean, if you think that you'd play it through, just even a couple times, I feel like that's worth it. Uh, three deer pelts. Even got a sapling. That was quite, quite a little expedition. Euro. Oh, I don't. I don't actually know the euro. The euro is probably isn't isn't the euro about the same as the pound, or no? Oh, some for some reason I put uh, bear meat in the fridge. Point eight eight, and a dollar is like what point seven, or even worse. Not sure where we got that other player from. If there's three players, if I only had two players, then that was a bug. We just duplicated a flare. Oh, I had it. I had it back. Right, right. It should take more dollars to equal one euro. Yeah. I didn't realize the British pounds were so strong. carry this try to use I'll try to use it up maybe next time instead of using matches I don't know 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. And we're still really heavy carrying this meat, I suppose. And the water. Wait. I may have been playing too long. How did I get all this water? Did I pick it up off the ground? Because I should have left all the water back up on the on the hill. We are super rich. I hope we meet traders soon. Surely they'll take cattail stalks as currency. Alright. Almost done. Drop that and we'll drop uh, that thing. Put it on the table to make it look nice. So yeah, like I said, next time we'll probably uh, repair some clothes, get everything set up, um, because I've explored as much of the region as I want to explore. And, and so I think we're ready to, uh, to head to the new region. Um, we need to make sure our arrows are in order, which might mean we have to make some new ones up. But, uh, but then we'll head to the new region and get our butts kicked, and that'll probably be uh, you know, where we die. Um, I really hope not. I really hope not. I hope we kick its butt. And then, um, and then we'll head to the the mountain, which is the region that already existed. Um, God, I hope I remember this. I'm gonna put pelts. Let's see if I can put all of it. Pelts, pelts, and guts. Oh yeah, and sticks. As long as they're cured, I'll put them all in here. Detention? I, I've never heard of it. But, uh, but I'll check it out. Um, t tell, me, tell me about it on, uh, on Discord. Alright guys, that is it for tonight. We went on super cool adventure. Very happy with how things turned out. Um, that is it for me, uh, and I hope I had fun, hope you did too, hope you have a nice evening, morning, whatever it is, see you next time.